We yeah, have it's Melanie Kim. Not an accident. Right. Yes. Yes. Reinformation. Reinformation. We, we love you. We love you, we love you, you, Alexis. You so Thank much. you so much for being here. We have been joined by Melanie Campbell, who is the Thank you, Alexis. The, Thank the, you, Alexis. the founder and and uh, the, she runs a tremendous organization with the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation, as well as Black Women's Roundtable, mentored oh. by Dorothy Height, and has been a big sister, a leader, a bright shining star for so many of us. And Mel, you know, I just want to say. We talk about it all the time, but in this work, as a part of um, the civil rights movement, so often the women who do the work every day um, are not given the attention, the shine, um, the respect they deserve. And what I love about you is you are going to claim it. You are going to make sure that you make space for all your sisters and you do it with such grace. Period. So thank you so much thank, for being here. Thank you, sister. Period. This is an honor. This is all, all, all of my favorite people. <laughs> right? I'm a, I'm a fan girl of all four of you all. Oh, thank, oh. You, thank you, thank you. Only because you raised uh, more than half of hey, us. Hey, you yeah. know, hey, you know, oh, you know, <laughs> this is, my baby over here. Go 2000. That's maybe? right. I was on the board. You yes. honored me. Joined the board. Black youth vote. All right. I love long. that. I didn't yes. know that. Ag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, we Florida folk. Yeah, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then the yeah. classmate here. Yes. I and love it. Go I'm back. I'm just, I'm just black, I'm just and I'm just like, happy to be black with <laughs> yes. you. That's all. And I met you in New York. Mm hmm doing your thing early. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's been a minute. Absolutely. So I've watched you for a while and you do, do awesome work. Thank well, you Mel, very much. Well, Mel, I want to know about your work right now yeah. because yes. you are never, you are tireless in the fight. You are doing it. What are you looking at doing as we get closer to November? You know, we are 76 days now away from the election. So what does that work look like up until um, the election day? Well, you know, we started in October last year. Yeah. Because yeah. we knew we had a problem down in Florida. Yeah. We used Florida as a backdrop. Went to your, went to FAMU, to your alma mater and started its power of the ballot campaign going in going in the community uh, really listen to our folks especially our young folks about what was con concerned so we're going to pick up on our power of the ballot campaign right now we try to make sure people are prepared yeah right are you vote ready because I'm excited about this. You know, I'm here in my personal capacity so I can say what the heck I want right now. <laughs> and so, you say you didn't need to name all them right, titles. Right. I just, you know, right. yeah. So, but, you know, I told folks, don't call me about no inauguration. You got to get across the finish Come line. On. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on. That's right. Wow. That's right. History, history Come on. will teach us. That's right. Us. Folks will call it and give away jobs in 2016. Hello, we woke up the next morning and, and all hell broke loose. Yeah. So nobody, nobody got no job. Got right. no black job, right? Right. There right. could be no jobs. So that's what I'm trying to get folks to be really serious about. One, it's okay to have, like Latasha tells us, it's okay to have joy, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to be strategic about what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And so to me, it's like, we're going to leave this place, we're going to get on the ground, and we got to make sure, because the enemy never sleeps. Yes. Right? Oh, no. All right, and what I like about what Michelle Obama lit, did last night, she was unapologetically black, and that was so refreshing, right? Because mm -hmm. she used that platform, and we gotta we gotta get our folks out, yes. and we gotta make sure they're coming for us, right? Yeah. But we're gonna, you know how when the enemy coming for you, and you might, we're gonna go out, we're gonna turn and look the enemy in the That's eye. That's right. Yeah. And we gotta do that so yes. that we, so every chance, every opportunity where they think they're gonna try to suppress us, we gotta be in their face. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on the ground with all the folks and so yes. I love that so can you what's your prognosis a lot of people when talking about young people young young organizing give a, a glass half empty sort of reflection on young people they're not engaged they're not interested they got other things to do I have a suspicion that that's not been your experience when it comes to organizing and raising up the next generation of young leaders in the country I love for you to just give us some bright spots on your prognosis of what this next generation leadership looks like, those folks that are coming through and are coming across your path, the folks you're training and, and, and seeing on college campuses around the country. Okay. I'm going to start with you. Yes, right? ma'am. Because, you know, they say the same thing about your generation. That's but right. you showed that when you did all that you did from when you were on the campus all the way up to when you ran, right, yes, on several occasions and, and took on that public service. They are still, that's still happening, right? Yeah. I was on, I was at FAMU. Those students are, were fired up and ready. So the idea that they're not, when you got a 25 year old in Frost who, who became a congressperson, yeah, right. it's Your like folks are stepping up. It's like the reality though is that there are those who don't see that this thing is, yeah. is, 
is, this, this system is working for them, right? And so we have to be real about that, yeah. right? And call it, so it's not about being a, a operative of the Democratic Party, it's about being strategic about how we le le leverage our power. And my thing has, is when young people have the opportunity, like you had the opportunity, like I had the opportunity to, to give space to lead. Well, I mean, Latasha and I were on a panel with Brittany earlier today, Pacney, yeah. uh, earlier today. And the thing is that um, we have to keep building institutions, right, yeah. and giving space for young people to step up and organize. You know, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm considered a legacy now. I'm like, Lord, I don't like that word, Lord. <laughs> so, but I'm a quote, but I've been around, y'all. Yeah. I've been around. Yeah. Cause I, I, I don't have a second husband yet, but <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, hey, thanks. A lot of things well, man, we, we about to have to decades. let you go to go find him in a minute. So. <laughs> you know, you, y'all notice I'm working a little, working a you little bit. You look good. We got, we got to let you go. I'm yeah. six decades. You already looking for a man? Song. No, they got to come find him. Oh, I'm trying to right. you know, I, I shine out she a little bit better. Right? Mel, we going to welcome up. Look, okay, Mel, okay. we're going to welcome up our brother, Rashad <laughs> Robinson. Yes. I didn't see you all find him, but we're going to, come on, come on, come on. Rashad Robinson, color change. Mel, we're going to tell you thank you so much. Alfonso Davis joining us as well. Please, Queen. We love uh, you, Melanie. Thank you so you. much, I hope, you, I hope you find Amanda. I hope you, hope you get some max. Oh, my oh, God. You know it's that. so insane. Why? She did start it, though. She did say yeah. second half. Yeah. We love you, Mel.